Hello, I'm Chrissy Seaton. Today I thought I would explain a little bit about how Noahides live in this world. You might want to know what our lifestyles like, um, our behaviours, customs, practices, etc. So I will just um, give you an outline of um, what it's like to be a Noahide in this world. So at first glance, there's been nothing to notice about us really. We, we live in the real world. Uh, we work, we play sport, we are involved in our communities, local communities, etc. Uh, so we very much are of this world. We don't, however, observe um, religious holidays. Um, we certainly honour the country we live in. Um, we respect all their uh, national holidays. For example, for us in Australia, that would be Australia Day, etc. So we very much blend into our society. We don't have a church or a building that we attend. Uh, we don't have regular services. But we are closely aligned, although separate, we are closely aligned with the Jewish faith. So we do um, study under the guidance of a, um, of a rabbi and uh, we're always welcome to attend the local synagogues. We're always invited to do that. However, we have very few um, strict guidelines in terms of how we practice our faith. So we don't um, take part in any idol worship or things such as that. Our belief is in the one true God, the God of the Torah. So um, I guess uh, to briefly encapsulate how we are or what we are. We live modest lives. Um, we believe in honesty and kindness and respect for everyone around us, including our environment and animals. Um, we have uh, trust in God as our one true God, and we don't believe in blaspheming his name. We, um, we also respect the sanctity of life, um, we respect the property of others. They are two quite important Noahide laws. They relate to um, um, do not murder and, of course, do not steal or extort. Um, the law of theft or the prohibition against theft is quite lengthy and I'll enlarge upon that further in another interview um, in, in a short time. We also um, believe in the sanctity uh, of marriage and family unity as it is defined by God or Hashem, as we say. So we don't have forbidden relationships. We also avoid cruelty to animals and certainly we respect all of God's creation. So everything is created by God. We believe that every creation is an ongoing daily thing. So not one leaf falls to the ground that isn't part of God's divine providence. So we live very closely to those beliefs. We also believe in justice and mercy and peace. And that is probably uh, evident in the court systems that are instilled throughout the world today because, as you would realise, there's certainly um, there's laws regarding murder and theft and cruelty to people, kidnapping, um, rape, uh, crimes against children, things such as this. So most courts in the world... Uh, in the Western world, that would be, their basic foundation of the society that we live in is based already on the seven Noahide laws. And when you think about those laws, they are, as some people would say, they're common sense. Um, but we as Noahides don't practice them just because they're common sense. 
We abide by those laws because God has commanded us to. They were commanded to Noah. They were commanded previously, six of them, to Adam and Eve. After the flood, the seventh law was instituted by God and that is the, um, the law actually says, do not eat the flesh of a living animal. But that has a wide circumference and that comes under the, the um, cru cruelty, prohibition against cruelty to animals, respecting our environment, etc. Now, when Mount Sinai, uh, that marvellous, marvellous monumental miracle, of course, when God gave the Torah through Moses, he reiterated and reaffirmed those existing seven Noahide laws for all of mankind. And of course, the Ten Commandments and the subsequent laws associated with those were, of course, given to the Jews. I have other videos that explain this um, pre regarding Sinai, so you can go back and have a look at those. I probably will talk, um, the, the, the law of theft, it, can, it takes in many things. Um, and that is a whole video just on itself. And uh, time does not permit me today to go ahead with that. So uh, another thing I will just mention at this point in time is that I am often asked why I cover my hair. Um, simply, that is out of respect for my God. And it reminds me that I am his child, that there is only one God. So it reminds me of my behaviour and how I should do the will of God. And by covering my hair, it is also modesty. Noahides, uh, men and women, generally dress modestly, but we don't stand out from a crowd, uh, not in today's society anyway. Um, but that is the reason that I cover my hair. It is out of respect for my God and out of modesty. It reminds me of who I am and what I should um uh, be behaving like because I'm in the presence of God at all times as we all are. I hope this has explained a few things to you and I look forward to talking to you all again soon. Bye.